That's all right. <laughs> oh, and I've got some good stuff to discuss and embarrass. I mean, discuss with you. <laughs> discuss about me. Discuss what? 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 Uh, what is this? All the squirrel stuff. I get on there and I look online, <laughs> and here's a squirrel trying to duke it out with me today. And I, and I got it there. And I, I don't know if you saw what I posted, but I posted to everybody. Think about the Ghostbusters tune. Did it? Did it? Did I ain't afraid no squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tell me privately? You felt squirrel bullied or something? <laughs> <laughs> you... squirrel. <laughs> oh, so I'll start off with that because I bought you something that I'm gonna ship to you. Oh no! <laughs> How come you went? Oh no! <laughs> your 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 shoulders physically went. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be checking with the U.S. Postal Service and UPS and see if I can refuse shipment. <laughs> you would not. Oh, no, nah, I wouldn't. I because your your little your little lead better squirrel needs this. <laughs> Hi Kim, I see you. Hi Kim. Uh, see, Kim understands the squirrel situation. I believe you and Kim could actually be related and just not know it. I'm just saying, you're both you're both two of my favorite people, and I believe you could actually be re related. Hi, Teresa. Yeah, it's funny because Kim and I have had this connection since we met through you, so that's kind of awesome. But wait till you see this gorgeous little thing that I got for... <laughs> Here we go, folks. Oh, I gotta quit laughing that hard. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Are you ready? It's cute. It's a little picnic table for your. <laughs> and I even got it has it has an umbrella, and I got it blue, so, so your your little squirrel can have. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't right, girl. <laughs> when when you've had a squirrel actually take the top off of a of a bird feeder that's a roof and take it off, and you look in there, and he's sitting in there eating the feed and just staring at you, just daring you to do something. But see, then, if, you, you know, if you can't beat him, join him. See, that's the thing with this. Look, I can I can, I can act nuts, but I can't act squirrely. <laughs> No, see, the trick is supposed to be you put nuts on this so that they'll leave your bird seed alone. Yeah, but it doesn't work. <laughs> my, my, my squirrels, are, they, they have an appetite like uh, I can't even say. <laughs> It'd be embarrassing. These people, these, these squirrels are nuts. <laughs> see, no, no, five minutes <laughs> in, I'm gasping for air. Do you really think that's appropriate? I'm gasping. Okay. But the, I thought this was kind of cute. So you want to know what else I got to show you? The other um, thing's going to make you crazy. That's the only Make thing. me crazy? Like <laughs> I am not already there? <laughs> no, it's because you're a perfectionist. You're going to be crazy about the other thing. Okay. Now, that's going to be. I'm going to tell them why it. you said that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we should discuss that, right? <laughs> yeah, just in case one of us doesn't come out of that situation alive. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I didn't say me necessarily. <laughs> Look, we're, we're too many miles away from each other. We and, uh, squirrel pictures just won't do it. So we're okay. We're okay. 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 So um, when I was looking through my stuff yesterday, looking for stuff to talk with you about, right. I thought you'd get a kick out of, and I know some people in the audience do too. Um, some people like Teresa that's on from Westmoreland, who's near me. It's not Westmoreland, it's Westmoreland. You have right. to say it all in one word, right, Teresa? Right. And uh, notice but, I just put the words together and it works real well. Yes. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll tell everybody about it later. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Read the words on the page. <laughs> my ear. You again. almost did what you did when I said that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, that would be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong. Well, hello, yeah. Huntington Beach, California. I can't tell who you are, but hello. Oh, do I? Oh, I don't see who it is either. Facebook user Huntington yeah. Beach. Who could that be? Patty? That might be Patty Rubido. Maybe. Um, say say who you are if that's in Huntington Beach because we can't see it. Okay, so I was looking through my stuff, and you know how we are talking about the, the marketing book? Right. My first book was called Marketing Ideas for the Wild at Heart. <laughs> I like that. I found one um, of the old one that just happened to be sitting on the shelf, and sadly, I didn't save stuff of everything that I've done. I didn't save everything. Right. I usually sold it right down to the walls because I needed the money or whatever. And uh, hi, Diane. It is Patty Rubido. I knew it. Hi, Diane. Yay. Okay. Um, 
but the matter of fact, a bunch of these guys have this book, <laughs> but this was in the third printing because what, how I know is I was in the front of it, how I was keeping track of it is I would put first printing a thousand copies, August 97. I put the date and how many I printed. Good. So this was in the third round and this ended up having five rounds. This ended up being the 5,000. So this was the first book. But you would lose your mind if you looked at it in person. I'll show you a couple things because you. <laughs> so you're saying it's not going to be in my Christmas stocking? I'm getting oh, cold no. on your recording sessions, aren't I? I'm getting you cold will, this year. You, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> um, but you, you would say you didn't sell that to people because this is so amateur. But at the time, I didn't think of it that way. All I thought was, people aren't buying this for my grammar. People are buying this for the look of it. They're Were they buying, buying it, it for their grammar because their no. grandma wanted a good Christmas present? <laughs> no, I thought they were buying it for the ideas. Ideas? <laughs> the ideas. <laughs> if Lisa, I don't care. I know it was one of your first things, but if they got something out of it that helped them in their career, it doesn't matter if it wasn't like what we've done. It's well, okay. No, I and and I'm happy I did it and all that yeah. stuff. I'm yeah. saying you'd lose your mind. I didn't say I lost my mind. <laughs> but, well, we haven't got to the the wild part of this yet. Okay, okay. so I designed the cover myself. <laughs> okay. It isn't even. I think this was better looking. It, it must have sat in the sun because it wasn't this bad. Right. But um, this is the back cover. Just one of my cars. Yeah, I like it. In '97, we couldn't uh, somehow put pictures in we couldn't scan the pictures for some reason no. and i don't remember what the reason was but i had a uh, line art of the other stuff <laughs> so in other words we traced pictures of the real we traced pictures of the real picture right. this is the yugo tracing that's in the book this is oh, in the book that's okay <laughs> yeah People love you and they love the things that you've been putting out and they got st stuff out of it. And so uh, you're, you're looking for me to think something. Uh, uh I think it's great. Oh, well, no, I, it's not that I look for you to think something, but I don't think you would have put this out. I uh, guess I put it that well, way. Well, neither one of us would maybe put it out now because now we, oh, you know, we've no. raised to a higher level and all that. So. Yeah. Well, actually, isn't that kind of a good lesson? Because mm -hmm. if I had waited till I knew enough to make it nice, I never would have done it. Right. I would have sat there and, and not done it. But I didn't think of it that way. I just thought, I've got to be able, <laughs> you've come a long way, baby. Uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking, I just want to earn enough when I have to do speaking. Right. And people do like the ideas I'm talking about. So if I put them in book form, they'll have something to take with them. Well, you, you know, that's one of the things that I always teach salespeople. Don't wait until you're perfect at what you're going to do to go do it. Start the activity now. You'll get better as you go along. I've, I've known salespeople that did the, the exact opposite. They just didn't want to get out there and do what they needed to do until they were perfect at it. And none of them make it because you can't do it that way. You you get good by stretching your skills and going forward on that. And, uh, See, so I, you, you were just doing the precursor to what has now become this thing that we've done and that right. and it's going to be you're going to be proud. I have to tell everybody what was going on today and yesterday. Oh. <laughs> we were, um, I, go went ahead. Just, I went into the studio last week, everybody, to to uh, record my part of the, the book for the audible version, uh, the audio book. And uh Bless her heart. Lisa has more in it than I do. I'm the narrator and I carry the male voices, but there's a lot of female uh, uh, dialogue going back and forth. And a lot of uh, the, the narration is right in there. She did most of that. But so we're doing it and, and we're hundreds and hundreds of miles away. So she's recording. Got, got the setup in her studio there at home and she's recording and I'm in her ears on my, I'm, I'm basically Zoom calling her on her phone and I'm going through her ears. And so as she goes through, this is her first experience with this. And so just like any of us would be doing the first time, you know, there, there's things that we do over. And after having her do some of them over, she pointed a finger at me. <laughs> Not just any finger. <laughs> ah, the special <laughs> finger she pointed at me. <laughs> okay. So now these are my friends we're talking to. I'm going to 
clear this up for them. My home studio is my closet. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost going to make it sound better than it did. Right. And the other thing, I was panicking so bad, I was crying. And you guys know I don't do that, right? But I was the first day, only the first day, though. So you've talked me in off that cliff, at least. <laughs> Even today, when I was not, not, and I got upset at the end, I didn't cry like I did that first day. The first day, I was panicking horribly so i'm i think i'm getting a little bit more used to it but um i don't think i did that bad yesterday today or this morning was all right but this afternoon was a train wreck but luckily i'm grateful that <laughs> right i we've decided i'm not going to say i'm sorry so much i'm going to say i'm grateful instead we've decided so. she's going to come up with some other word other than f me too <laughs> Well, and, and most of my friends know that's my favorite. Well, <laughs> it's it's my let's see, my second. No, is it my second favorite? No, no, that's my first favorite four letter word that begins with F. My second favorite is free. <laughs> I'm free. I'm free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah We're that's not going the... any further in that conversation at all. <laughs> I saw Kim. Kim uh, posted something about getting the squirrel some corn. Well, I'll tell you one of the things about Kim that not everybody knows. Kim is, is uh, it's, I forget which Dakota you're from, Kim, or is it in Nebraska? I know you're up there in that general area. And she knows stuff. Okay, and I had planted. Some, hey, Alex, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> uh, but I had planted some corn one year. And when I got it off the, 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 Nebraska. the thing, Nebraska, when I got it off the thing, the, the stalk, and open it up, it had this odd looking, just deformity going on. And so I posted on Facebook. I said, okay, somebody tell me what the heck it is. And you'll love this. It's called corn smut. <laughs> True story. Kim can attest to this. It's like a, it's like a, uh, uh, you know, smut a thing in the you. corn. And it's actually a delicacy, but I did not eat that smut. I did not. Yeah, now smut's something I can relate to. <laughs> I knew it would be. <laughs> yes. Me and my friends take a walk down smut lane all the time. <laughs> well, Kim says it's gross. It you is cook gross. it? You, uh, I, they cook it? I don't know. It can't. After, when I read online about it after she told me what it was, some people consider it a delicacy, but I wasn't going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Some people consider chitlins a delicacy too, but I don't. <laughs> I, I would tell you what the people back in Georgia used to say about chitlins, but it is so gross. I, I'm not going to do that. Oh, no. Do you like chitlins? Heck no. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. The only thing I like that we don't have here that I liked when I lived in Mississippi, because I lived there a couple of years and South Carolina for a couple of years, right. um, is, um, oh, the, now I don't know, hush puppies. That's hush it. Puppies. Cat, catfish and hush puppies. We don't have that up here. Yeah. That I could are good. I don't do I don't do breads anymore. I don't do flour oh, or sugar. The kid likes Wawa. The Wawa. Oh, they don't have Wawa in Texas. I'm not sure what Wawa is. All right, Wawa Alex, is like if, if there's something out there, I don't know. If Wawa is like the Seven Eleven on steroids. Oh, okay. Well, we've yeah. got a in Texas. We've got a thing called Bucky's, and it's oh it's, yeah, Bucky's Bucky's is huge. they have stuffed animals and of Bucky's. Oh yeah, it's got yeah. The Bucky's fever, but Bucky's is like. It's like convenience store heaven. I've got a friend in Georgia that when he came out to Texas for a visit, he I mean, he posted online, he has gone to convenience store heaven. It's called Bucky's. And now they're in Georgia too. So he's got to be really happy about that. <laughs> the, uh, but Bucky's, they might have a hundred gas pumps. Oh, and it's huge. And then people will do Christmas. I've done Christmas shopping in it, Bucky's before. And it's a big, well, yeah, big but you're a guy place. that that's expected. <laughs> so, hey, I did good on my Christmas shopping this year. Look what it bought me. Yes, that is awesome. This is my favorite thing that that, that is there on um uh, on the, <laughs> the Zazzle site. Well, look at Kim said I cleaned pigs' intestines in my life prior to the one I live now. It was extremely gross. Pigs will eat anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for yeah. sharing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of of the I I don't I've never even tried chitlins to be honest with you. We have something in Texas that you can get called calf fries, and calf uh, fries. Calf fries. And oh, it's, I'm, thank it's a you. Rocky Mountain oyster kind of idea. Oh, I, uh, I yeah. thought you meant C A T, and I was going to not uh, be happy. No, calf. C A L F. Calf yeah. fries. And yeah. it's when they take a young bull, they this, they'll they'll remove that particular <laughs> part, and then uh, it's a steer, and, and so they just fatten it up to sell it. And oh. uh, so, but it's in re it's in restaurants around here, and I swore I would never try that, and I said that in front of my wife. And she determined that she was going to 
change that and I no. ended up eating calf fries once. Oh, <laughs> no. They were actually very good. I just don't like the idea of it. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't think I could deal with that. No. Hey, we're behind schedule here. Let's yes, see. yes. And it's one of my favorite rules today. Oh, that's true. This is this is your very favorite rule. My my favorite rule might have been the mini skirt rule, but this is my very favorite rule is the rule that I'm known for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tonight's oh. tonight's rule that we will be talking about with everyone, the rule number seven, the last rule in the book. It, it comes out toward the end of the book. Rule number seven is the naughty rule, and it says if you aren't getting in trouble once in a while. You simply aren't trying hard enough. <laughs> Tell me how you got that rule. <laughs> I, I just pick one of the times I get in trouble because um, I'm actually known for getting in trouble. I'm sure you're shocked and stunned by that revelation. I, I'm, I'm thinking you're making this stuff up. <laughs> yeah okay so one of the times and and i already you've heard this because i told it on roberts but um when i first uh put a, a wrap on my car i was out on an avon trip in las vegas and i saw a pt cruiser with a vinyl wrap for coca-cola and i was driving a pt cruiser at that point and i'm like oh, i am i am definitely going home and doing that and what's funny i didn't say on robert's show that was back far enough that they didn't have fast signs on every street corner right. i actually had to get a company in canada to come over the border to install my my wrap because they weren't doing wraps like they are now right. so i had one of the first ones in my state and um but it was right from the beginning it was an attention getter because no one else was doing it of course i had the light up pizza sign on the roof too so that and out here we don't have we still don't have pizza delivery or taxis so it that's always been a good draw but what, what, um what did you tell me about husband number two and that sign on top no yes but the airport thing Every chance I, well, I, I had to hide the keys because he used to borrow the car without telling me, even though he had like eight vehicles and I never drove his, but he always used to take mine. And I went outside one day, had an appointment and my car wasn't there. I slept with my keys after that. I that you should have reported it stolen and had his <gasps> rear end arrested. <laughs> oh, Oops, I didn't know it was you, honey. <laughs> Oh no! So so I'll I'll tell you, but no, no one knows this story. You guys are all it's here. Just between us, the, the crowd doesn't know here. Right? You you all won't don't know this one yet. But okay, so um, he borrowed the Hyundai that the hmm. one matter fact, the one on the back of the book, this one. Right. And even though he had two pickup trucks, he borrowed my little Hyundai and two, got two by fours, put them in the hatchback, closed the hatchback, and took the windshield out. And then didn't fix it. And you released him into the <laughs> wild. <laughs> I released him to move on to another opportunity. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the yeah the naughty rule that actually was at my house too because of course he didn't want me to do those things any more than corporate did. But um, the district manager came to the house and she said the other representatives in town don't like that you wrapped the thing. And said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I interrupted you cracking up. Keep telling your story, but we got to go back to what Kim just typed. Oh, okay. Keep telling your story. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, now I read it, and it's funny too. Okay, okay. Um, the the uh, when when they came, the manager, the local manager said, "You can't put stuff on your car like that." They no, and I said, "Well, where where'd you see that?" Because I looked in the rules. They have rules that we could look at. Right. I didn't see anything like that. All it said was, if we do something like that, it has to uh, say independent sales representative. And it did. Right. So she said, yeah, but the other people aren't happy. I said, have them do it too. I didn't back down from that. Um, she was mad for quite a while over it too. And what's funny is, and this almost always happens when I get in trouble, is I got in trouble. They all were mad. And it was a long time they were mad. Then there was a little time where people didn't care because they forgot about it. And then I got an award for it. Uh, <laughs> they, I got on the front of a magazine with it. And they put me up in Madison Square Garden on the screen with that particular PT Cruiser um, on the magazine cover at the 125th thing in Madison Square Garden. So almost every time I've gotten in trouble, and it wasn't just for the car, I've gotten in trouble a bunch of times. Usually I get in trouble, 
Then there's a period where they forgot about it or they don't care. And then they make a big deal like it was awesome, like I'm smart. <laughs> so I, I had the naughty rule in reverse back with my career with Aflac. I had, when I was a district <clears throat> sales coordinator, I'd read an article from Jeffrey Gittimer about using the five senses when you're selling. The oh, more yeah. the five senses you can use, the more success <laughs> the you're going to have. I thought I came up with that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I, I had said, okay, what can I do? Because we, you know, we, we were doing our employee meetings and I would have sound and then have a brochure in their hand. And say, well, what can I really do? And I got thinking about touch. So I went and bought these big party $100 bills. The big blown up ones, oh, yeah, yeah. and I would pull someone up, and I would talk about what would happen if they had one of our policies and they had an accident, and I would take the crowd through it. And you know how I play with people, so I would play with them, get them laughing, and I, but I'd start counting out these big one hundred dollar bills to the person I had up in front, and get through, and they'd have thirty four, thirty five hundred dollars from Aflac, and I would say, now uh, I got, I said, now guys, I've got a friend who does this. I would never do this because it's tacky. And I said, but see this, this is with Aflac. And then I'd pull the money away and said, this is without oh. Aflac. <laughs> but they would laugh and it was fun. I, I even got written up. Aflac had a magazine at the time and I forget the name of our magazine. But anyway, oh, it was a, they put neat. out everywhere. They did an article on me. <gasps> they loved it. Oh, and then a, a few years later, our compliance department decided that was un, not allowed anymore. I got told to cease and desist. <laughs> After you'd already been doing it for years. Yeah. Well, I'd already promoted up in, I think I was a state sales coordinator by that point, but I'd been teaching it everywhere. Anyway. So yes, I got the naughty rule. They didn't slap my hand, but I have to give Kim light the credit for this. That's the funniest line I've heard in a long time. Kim, Kim said, Lisa, did you know that if you get a husband, ears are sold separately? <laughs> <laughs> so ears you got to make sure you get those. Or you, <laughs> well, no, don't you? I've been telling you this the whole time we've been working together. The right. reason I was so stunned about how great the book came out because I couldn't believe you were listening to me when I was telling my story. <laughs> Um, that's that's a I'm skill. I'm not used to men listening, actually listening, actually listening. And it's it, you know. I, I, I know understand. That's wrong. I know I, that's I, wrong. Yeah, I understand that, but. Uh, and I'm sure there are times when I don't listen effectively enough myself. And I'm sure that the people in my life would, would tell you that. But I try to listen. What'd you well, say? Now, I, was, <laughs> I was listening today when you said, say the words that is written on the page. So, yeah, read the words on the page, babe. Read the words on the page. I did not say babe, page. by the way. I don't say I don't say that to her. To her. You I say said, darling. Like I do say darling all the time. Read, read the words on the page, darling. <laughs> It's an old joke. I, I'm going to tell the joke. No, I better not tell that joke, huh? Oh, come on. Should that's I tell funny. it? Yes, that's funny. And there was a preacher back in Georgia that looked just like Conway Twitty. Looked just like him. And he had gone to a new town and he was going out visiting the people in the area. And he knocked on the first door and it was a, kind of an elderly gentleman. And he, and he said, are you Conway Twitty? And the guy said, no, I, I get that all the time. I'm the pastor at the new church. Just want to invite you to church on Sunday. So he goes and knocks on the next door and it's an elderly lady. And she says, are you Conway Twitty? And he says, no, ma'am, I'm not. I'm the preacher at the new church down the road here. I want to invite you to church on Sunday. Well, he goes to the next door and it's this gorgeous woman and she smiles and she says, are you Conway Twitty? And he says, hello, darling. <laughs> that, that was my second hearing it. And I still think it's really funny. <laughs> hey, we got some business details we got to get to now. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, sorry. Oh, yeah. And I, I want to say something about the the reception thing on Friday. OK, uh, the book is uh, going to be official. The official launch date is the Black Friday morning. That will be November the 25th. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. It will be sitting there before that because you can't do something last minute with Amazon. That being said, don't buy it until Friday morning on Black Friday because it's going to drop $4 for that weekend. And I don't want you guys to pay the four extra dollars. Lisa and I'd love to have $2 each from you, but you don't need to do that. <laughs> that's, that's just, you don't, I really don't want you to do that. I want you to wait and get the better price. It's, it, it, the retail on it's actually going to be $22.95. That's going to be the retail. But on that morning, from that weekend, uh, for, for the entire weekend, all the way through Cyber Monday, at the end of the day, it's going to be eighteen ninety five. so you'll save some money. And we we both want you to save the money on that. So, uh, But um, we just, will. Go ahead. Just, just think, all of those years ago, this book, I sold 5000 at twenty four ninety five. So it's less than this 
Yep. All of these years later. And I think it, I think it's something that everybody that reads is going to say, I like, I love the story and the lessons are exactly what I need to be doing. And if you're a sales leader, you're going to find that the lessons are exactly what you need to be teaching your team, especially when you're in a direct sales or multi-level marketing industry. Or if you're like I was, I, I led a team of independent agents in the insurance industry. And in doing that, I needed them to learn lessons quickly about about being self uh, self sufficient and, and investing in their business and and uh, the rules that Lisa has been teaching that that we put into the book are things I wish every single agent that I ever started with Affleck I wish I could have handed them that book when they started and so if you're a sales uh, leader of a sales team out there Lisa and I are also doing something special if you order 25 copies of the book for your team and you uh, send us like something showing that you did that we're going to invite you and your team to a um to a, a facebook live meet and greet that's just for people that did that and oh, then tell if you the buy big one. tell them the big one i, I am if you <laughs> sorry do, read the words on the page is what you're saying no, i'm kidding <laughs> but if you <laughs> i'm excited about the big one i'm excited yeah. about the big one go ahead <laughs> i'm sorry i froze up i'm sorry uh, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> If you if you're a leader of a sales team and you buy 50 and we've already had somebody buy 70, he hasn't gotten them yet, but he'll get them as soon as they get ready. We're going to do a Facebook live event just for you and your team. You'll be the only team on there. That way we can do something special. It'll be a meet and greet for uh, from Lisa and it'll and I, be and we'll, interactive so they can ask us stuff yeah, and stuff. We'll do it on Zoom and she's going to teach some of the lessons. We'll do that together. They can ask questions. So if you're a sales leader, please feel free to take advantage of that because it's it's uh, it'll be much uh, more cost eff effective than when you have to bring us in later because our speaking fees are pretty high. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who wrote this, but I, I'm suspicious about what they mean. And I don't want it says, Lisa, you are always excited about the big one. So, uh, let's just keep on moving to the next subject. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, Kim. Just wait and buy. <laughs> wait and buy the book on Friday on uh, Amazon because it'll be on sale by four dollars on Friday. It'll drop from twenty two ninety five down to eighteen ninety five, and it'll stay at that price through Monday night. It, it'll be sitting there before that. You could go pay twenty two ninety five and get it sooner, but we don't want you to do that. Wait till that Friday morning, and we would also love to see everybody go buy that book on Friday morning, just because it'll blow Amazon's mind and it'll it'll make bestseller lists and it'll do all kinds of fun things. So, and once we make the bestsellers list, once we can use that accolade right. to sell books for a long time. That's why we want to punch it for Friday. Right. Yeah. And technically, we already have. We did it on on the release of the Kindle. Oh, really? Yes. That's the Kindle true. hit number one in multi-level marketing and number eight. And my favorite category hit number eight in women in business. And that's the one I want the number one spot on. That's what oh, I'm that, hoping happens on that Friday. So that would be awesome. Uh, the We didn't run a contest this week because we, we were so swamped with, with everything. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, next Thursday being Thanksgiving, we won't have a, a Facebook Live thing. Uh, Lisa's going to make an announcement about something that she's doing, but uh, we are going to make sure that you hear from us. We've got we got something special planned that we'll be putting out and probably putting out multiple times. And hey, and it, on this particular one, we'll put it on our personal feeds too. So if you want to share it with people, share it with people, because you guys are what's making this so much fun. Lisa and I did a good job on what we're supposed to do here, but um, you guys make us. You just make our days. There's not enough we can say about you. So Lisa wanted to make an announcement about something. Okay. So on Friday, I didn't come up with the time slate. So you're going to have to watch for the graphic. But on Friday, uh, Black Friday, with the day of the launch, I'm going to, I was going to originally have something here at the house. But, and Teresa Staples is coming already. So Teresa, we're going to have to meet up the street because I'm having a whole bunch of people Thanksgiving that I didn't realize I was having. <laughs> Yeah, which is, a, that's cool. Awesome. I'm grateful. And um, so instead, what I'm going to do is meet everybody up. At, it's uh, called General's bar, Little Bar and Grill up the street. We're going to go up there for a couple hours. I'll be up there and anyone can drop in, have a drink with me and talk about the launch, whatever you want to do. And that's in where New Hampshire. So if you live anywhere in New England, come on up and take a road trip while you're up shopping at the malls and stuff and come see me out and where and we'll have a drink together while we celebrate the launch. And I, Kim asked, so you, uh, will you not have these meetings after the launch? Yeah, we're going to keep doing these things. I, the, it's going to get a little bit crazy in my schedule somewhat. 
but we'll keep doing these as long as we can. And Lisa is Lisa's like the queen of doing live events every week. It's a, I'm a, I, one of the things I'm amazed about you. Uh, and I will join as many of them as I can because I think people enjoy the the repartee between the two of us. They like to see if you can embarrass me. Plus, they want to see if the squirrel really does kick my... Oh, and the squirrel needs to make an appearance or we all wonder where the squirrel is. <laughs> mm, the squirrel was between a couple of biscuits with some gravy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm so kidding. All of our animal lovers out there are going... No, I don't, I don't eat squirrel. That's an old, that's it. But you know, back in the Southeast, they, they absolutely did eat squirrel a lot. And uh, well, they eat squirrel up here. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't, you know, New Hampshire is the sister state to West Virginia. So of okay. course they eat squirrel. I just want to tell you one thing, Patty Rubido, who's on here. She was, we have a funny story together. She uh, got assigned to me uh, from Avon at one of their incentives or something. She lives in California. Oh, she, wow. She, I think her was email. she emailed me and said, why the heck would I want to be in your downline? Because you're clear across the country in New Hampshire. And I had heard that so much. I had no patience for it that day. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to her, you know what, Patty, <laughs> you Google my name. If you're not happy with what you see, you call me and I'll send the request in. You won't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, Patty's on the team and she's happy and she's Love one you. of my, my favorite team members out in California. And she's always on the Team Time Tuesday call. I thought you might get a kick out of that. Well, I'll tell one story and then I, I probably shouldn't tell this story. Oh, Kim. Oh, Kim I want to hear it. Kim Kim may have heard this story. I can't remember if I told it when I was speaking to you guys or not. Anyway, um, the, uh, when I was young, brash, 20, probably 26 years old, I was in outside sales with an industrial uniform company. And that's a very blue collar, tough business. And uh, I walked into this door and I literally didn't even get the name of my company barely out of my mouth. I said, I'm Jeff West with Brill Uniform Service. And the owner was standing behind the the, the counter and he began to berate me. It was, he was, he was saying words that you like to say. He was saying words that were. Oh, the big one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, talking about how uniform companies were owned by the mafia. Oh, and he's going, and literally, he was just, he was going through this tirade and I start smiling and he stopped in the middle of a sentence and he said, boy, how can you be smiling after that chew and I just gave you? And I said, well, my boss told me when he hired me that if I didn't run it at least one hole a week, I wasn't working hard enough and I got you out of the way on Monday morning. <laughs> True story. I really did that. Did you sell him? Did you close him? I actually <gasps> did. He bought mats. He really did mats from us. He wouldn't do uniforms, but he did the mats. He said, he said, you got you made a guts. <laughs> yeah, he said he guts. Yeah. We actually got along great. Oh, he, he, he I said, I don't recommend sure. that as a sales technique anyway. Please don't do that. <laughs> I, I like the way you're always worried about offending people. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. that's the problem with me doing this alone without you is because I'm not worried about that. And sometimes you pull me back from the cliff and I just go, whoo, <laughs> like a squirrel, like a flying squirrel. She goes off the cliff. I, I, I wish you guys could have heard us. I wanted to record <laughs> video of our, our recording sessions for the book because the, the outtakes part. would be absolutely yeah. hilarious. Not the crying part, the swearing no, part. No, not the, the funny stuff. Where, where I would say, okay, Lisa, you made up a new word there, let's, or you, you, you used a different word there. Let's go back. And all of a sudden behind her microphone, I'm not going to do it on here, but you see, you see her hand giving me that behind the microphone. And I'm going, I'm starting to laugh over here. Of course, you can't hear me on her tape and her recording is sounding good. And by the way, I will tell you, that when you guys hear the audio book, you're going to think that she's done an absolutely fantastic job. I know it's her first time, but it's uh, it's when she 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 is now relaxed enough on it that she's she's living the story and delivering the book lines that way rather than reading you a story. And it's just been fun to watch her do that. And you'll watch it as, as we progress through the book. You'll see how she just really gets into it later. And it's it's. I think you're going to be very proud of her when you when you get to hear the audio book. And hopefully we'll still have that out by December 1. But my schedule is going to be a little bit crazy because uh, how that's actually going to work is I did the studio. Lisa's done hers. It's, I send it to the studio. They send me back something. And then I actually do the editing myself. And then we so, load it to Audible. All of all of my buddies here, send some good wishes up for me. because Send I said alcohol. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't send me anything. 
no, I mean, send, me, me. send me my coffee, okay? Because <laughs> we still got three more recording sessions for before we're done. Right. We'll so do I and I keep saying in in two years this is going to be awesome, but. No, uh, we won't have one of these next Thursday night, but uh, we will have a Thanksgiving message that you guys get from us because we love you guys. And we, we don't want to not have you know that how much we appreciate you during Thanksgiving week. Uh, and then we will definitely have a show the week after that. And, and we'll go from there. Uh, it, it, we have to figure out how to how to do everything we've got to do. So but anyway, uh, oh, one, one last thing that I want to if you don't have a wristband, please let me know and I'll send you one. I still got some. And oh, good, also, I got mine on. <laughs> I was in here feeling, please tell me I have it on. Please tell me I have it on. <laughs> I normally have it on. I just It irritates my wrist, so sometimes I take it off. I, I, I like the shirt. That's awesome. I'm wearing the New Hampshire uniform plaid, uh, plaid flannel. Yeah. Uh-huh. So <laughs> if you don't have your your um, port, uh, your profile frame, too, let me know, because I'd love to do that for you. I want to see uh, on Friday, I'd like to see the my world light up blue. That was my big dream. So help me make my dream come true. Hey, please. And everything you guys can do about sharing this in your own circle on social media, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, anything you guys can do to spread the word, especially about the book being at a lower price on Friday, because we really want everybody to know that because a lot of salespeople, especially if they're independent sales and they're not on some salary somewhere, that, that's a big deal. So let's get let's get this in the hand, especially if you're new people and let them yeah. uh, get yeah, it at a better says, price. Can we send out books to you guys to autograph? I don't know how we're going to do that yet. We'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah, it out. We got to figure that out, Kim. Still, I know definitely we plan on doing some in-person events, but I'm not sure if we have any in Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. So I'm. We got to. We got to. Uh, we're still a work in progress over here. Yeah. But um. And by the way, any of you that have like like I know Kim. Oh, is remember, come visit uh, Kim. Yeah. Come visit me. <clears throat> just uh, if you if you are part of a sales team that that has I know that with AFLAC like we always had January kickoffs if you if you want to recommend that they check us out as a speaker duo will Lisa and I've already talked about doing some speaking engagements as this duo and uh, talking about the book playing with each other on stage like this and having fun and making it something that the team would enjoy so and then we'll sell books in the back of the room that kind of thing you guys have seen us do that before and it'd be fun and and we uh, corporate would still like it because we teach the rules right so we could have fun and teach the rules yeah so Okay. All right. I, will, I want to come to who is it that's in California? Is that what's that? Patty. Patty, oh, Rubio. Patty, oh, Patty. Patty. Yeah, I'm, I'm on next. This next one, we're doing at Patty's house. <laughs> Patty will let you. <laughs> I like Patty. She has fun posts. All right. Anything else well, we need? I, I think we're all set. I'm, we're going to be, uh, things are going along as usual. It's going to be, seem like a little slow because of no, no show next week, but we'll be right after it posting on the group. At least I, I will. You'll probably have a tighter schedule than me, but um, we'll be right there. If you need anything, just let me know, but make sure we're doing this and the frames and we love you. You guys are awesome. Bye. Bye.